Welcome to another website tutorial. My name is Danny and I'm your Squarespace and Canva expert. And today I'm going to show you six hacks to build your website faster. So today I'm going to show you some incredible hacks that I've learned throughout the past two years that have helped me create over 40 websites efficiently and effectively. So if you implement any of these hacks that I'm going to share with you, the process of building out your website will be so much faster, easier, and most importantly, it's going to be a strategic. So make sure to stay until the very end because I will be sharing my number one website building hack plus an incredible bonus. So let's get started. So hack number one is define your why. Define your website goals. So it's very important to have this very clear before you even start building out a website. So ask yourself these two questions. What is the purpose of building out this website? And what do you want people to do when they land on your website? If you don't have a goal, your website is not going to have a purpose. Therefore, it's not going to be strategic. It's not going to convert and it's going to be useless. So you have to have a goal defined. Some examples are, do you want a website to make sales? Is it to increase brand awareness, to start building out your email list, to sell your services or showcase your portfolio? Define these goals and select the top three. After you define your website goals, hack number two is to create your vision. So it's very important that you know your colors, the fonts that you're going to be using before you even start building out a website because then it can get really, really messy and it will take you so much time to figure it out. So what I truly recommend is that you start with a mood board. Go to Pinterest and start pinning your favorite images and then create your own mood board in Canva. After you have your mood board, you can go to coolers.com and create your color palette. Then you can go to Google Fonts and start selecting the fonts that go with your brand. And last but not least, you will add all these elements to a brand board. Now, if you don't have a clue on how to do any of these, then I absolutely recommend that you watch my video that I'm going to link down below on how to create a vision for your website. I'm going to guide you step by step on how to create a mood board a color palette, select your fonts and create a brand board. Super simple. So make sure to watch the video down below. And so as you can see, these are some beautiful examples of mood boards created in Canva with one of our templates and then their color palettes, which were created on coolers in like less than 10 seconds. So honestly, make sure to watch the video on how to do it because it's incredible. And so once you have your colors defined, you have your mood board images for inspiration and you've selected your fonts, then you can add all those elements to a brand style board. So these are some examples of some beautiful crafted brand boards. And we actually also have some templates available if you want to create your own. And I want to leave you with this incredible quote that you can find in the Bible, which is so true. Without a vision, the people perish. And this can apply to all the areas of our lives. So before you even start creating your website, you need to have a vision defined. Hack number three is to create the strategy. So this is how you can easily create a strategy for your site. So step number one, list all of the pages that you want on your site. So grab a piece of paper and just start writing down and defining the pages that you're going to need. You're going to need a home page, for example, an about me page, a services page or a shop page, and even maybe a contact page. So those are some of the basic pages that a website needs. After you've defined your pages, then go to number two, define the content under each page. So start organizing the main elements under every single page. And here I have an incredible hack for you that you're going to love. And this is a sticky method hack that I've created. And so here for every page of your website, you're going to grab a sticky note. And so then you're going to title it the name of your page. So let's say the home page, about page and services page. And so below them, you're going to grab smaller sticky notes and you're going to place them below each page. And then you're just going to fill them out with the sections that you want on that page. So for example, in the home page, you want to have a header and then a short intro that talks about what you can offer your clients. 
And then you want to add your top three services or your top three products, right? Your best selling products. After that, you need to add a short bio to create some connection with the visitors on your site. And then, of course, you need social proof. So you can add things like a portfolio, testimonials. And then we want to show them that we are an expert in our area. So you need to have blog posts or any type of free, valuable information. And so do that for all the pages on your website. So here you can see that for the about page, we have also a headshot, which is so important to have a picture of yourself, your bio, right? Your top five. So that could be your top five products or your top five drinks or anything that's going to create a connection between you and your visitor and then a way for them to contact you. And then on your services page, of course, you want to have every single service with details, the pricing, and then you need some testimonials that simply add so much trust. And of course, plug in your portfolio as well, and then a link, a CTA for them to book a call with you. And so these are some examples of elements that you could have on these three pages. So do this for all the pages on your website. And I promise you, this is going to help so freaking much. And so once you know what you want on every single page, then you're going to define your CTAs, which is basically your call to action button. And so, for example, after they land on my homepage, I want to take them to my services page so they can see what I provide and how I can help them. And so after they go to my services page, then I want them to look at my portfolio, right? So that they can see the work that I've created in the past. And then next, I want to guide them to my testimonials page so that they know that my work is so valuable and that I've had amazing experiences with past clients. And I want to finalize that by taking them to my contact page so that they can book a call with me or inquire about working with me. And so hack number four is to have your content ready. So prepare your content before you even start working on your website. So by content, I mean your photos and the text on your website. So photos is what will make or break your website 100%. So I truly recommend that if you don't have any high quality photos of yourself or your services that you go for some stock photos. This will highly help. And there are incredible websites out there that offer beautiful, beautiful stock images. So my favorite website for stock photography is unsplash.com. And other really good ones are pexels.com and pixabay.com. And so for your copy, which is basically the text on your website, before you even start writing all your copy, you need to think about what voice you'll speak in. So is it going to be formal and professional or are you going to be funny and sarcastic, playful? So you need to define the style and then just remember to write all of your copy in this voice. And so here are some incredible pro tips. When you're writing your content, remember that less is always better. You don't want to overwhelm your clients with big paragraphs. So in this case, less is more. And just remember that your site visitors are just going to skim through your website. So having few sentences is best. Another tip is to write like you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your dream client. So use words like you instead of them. Another pro tip is to just set a timer for 30 minutes and start writing because we can get in our heads and it can appear like an overwhelming process, but it doesn't have to be. Just set a timer and start writing your content. And remember, you're not looking for perfection. In fact, perfection is the lowest of standards. Just make sure that your content is about 70% ready and move on. Because your website will continue to evolve and change through time, which is actually a good thing because that means you're, that your business and your brand is growing. So you'll be updating your content and your site consistently. Now, hack number five, which is actually one of my favorite hacks, is to build a wireframe in Canva before you even start building out your website. So here to the left, you can see the wireframe that I created in Canva before I started building the website. And so it's super similar to the actual website which I built in Squarespace. And so let me show you how you can do this. So you're going to go to Canva and then you're going to click create a design. And so here we're going to select custom size. And so for the width, we're going to go with 2,500. And for the height, we're going to go for 8,000. Just like that. And then click Create New Design. So now you have this blank canvas to start creating your website wireframe. And I love doing it in Canva because it's so easy and user-friendly. And so you want to start by just going to Elements, 
and then grabbing a couple of squares to create some banners. And so just start placing them where you want them to be at and have some fun. Also, make sure to use some frames to start placing and positioning your images. Then go to text and just add some placeholder text for now. You don't have to type in every single thing. And so that's how fast and easy you can create your own website wireframe in Canva. And once you have your wireframe, you can simply go to your website platform, in my case, Squarespace, and just start building out my website without me having to guess if something's going to look good or not, or if it should go at the top or at the bottom. I can do all of that here in Canva. And now let's go to hack number six, which is probably my favorite hack ever because it's so freaking easy. So it's basically duplicating pages in Squarespace. So let me show you how. So the first thing that you have to do, you know, is start creating your website with your Canva wireframe. And so once you have a page ready, so for example, I have my homepage ready, right? Now I wanna create my services page. So all I have to do is go to the plus icon and then create a new index page, which is gonna be my services page. And as you can see, there's nothing right now, but let's say that I want to have the same banner from my homepage. So I'm basically just going to go to my homepage and then click on the banner section, which is this one, number one, and then click the gear icon and just scroll down and click duplicate page and confirm. And now I'm just going to place this page below my index. And now, as you can see, I have a banner for the services page and I can just simply click edit and then maybe just change the image and the text. The great thing about it is that I already have a banner and the image is just positioned the way I want it to be. The text is the perfect size. Everything is perfect. I just need to change the content and that's it. So duplicating your pages in Squarespace is going to make the process so much faster. And now last but not least, the bonus hack. So now you know all the hacks and you can start implementing them. But what if you want to save yourself much more time? If that's you, then the no BS website method is just right for you. It's basically our proven step-by-step -step online method to start creating and to launch your website in less than three weeks. And I've had students that have actually created their websites in even a week. So if they can do it, it's possible for you too. And the best thing about it is that you don't have to add more hours to your schedule. You don't have to add more work to your to-do list because we make this process so freaking easy. So let me show you. The best thing about our online course, the No BS Website Method, is that it includes the website template of your choice completely ready and installed to your Squarespace account. So that means that you don't have to build your website from scratch. You basically get the whole template and then all you have to do is customize it. Just change your colors, change the font, the text, and the images, and you'll have a beautiful and most importantly, strategic site ready for your business. And so of course, besides the template, you get so many other things like website coaching calls with myself, a month of tech support from me and a community in our Facebook group, a three week action plan so that you know exactly what to do every single day during three weeks to finish your website. And again, you can do this even before the three weeks. You also get workbooks, checklists, blogging masterclasses. You get all the Canva templates and a Canva mini course and so much more. And so these are the templates that we currently have inside of the No BS website method. So I encourage you to check them out. They are beautiful. They have the strategy already in place so that all you have to do is just change the content and you'll have a website ready sooner than you think. So if you feel called to this, I'm going to leave the link down below, or you can just go to wondersoulscreative.com join. 
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video and I'll see you on the next one.